Hi everyone, I'm Jake. Welcome to the Cytronics Home Handover. Today we're going to go over the essential tips for getting started with using your Cytronics bike from home. When you first take out your bottle from the Cytronics bottle box, you will need to wake it up. This can be done in two ways. You can either connect it up to your computer with the charge tube, or when you connect it to the bike, it will also wake up there. Now, once you've got the kit installed on the bike, you can wake up the bottle by giving the handlebars a quick lift, or when you first connect the bottle, it'll also be ready to go. The charge level of your C1 bottle can be seen through the LED on the top of the bottle. There's four colours, each of those represent the quartiles of charge. If it shows green, that's 100% to 75%, then it will drop to blue, then purple, and then red is your last quarter of charge. This will actually turn into a pulsing red once it hits the last 10% and you'll feel the power ramp down. You can check your charge level on a bottle quite easily by doing a quick inversion, just like that, and then the LED on top will show for about five seconds, showing you your charge level. To connect your bottle up to the bike is really simple. At the bottom of the bottle, there's a horizontal groove, and that is gonna sit onto the bottom section of the bottle holder. It's important that the Cytronics logo is actually on the left-hand side of the bike from the rider's perspective. Once that's done and in the located spot, you can engage the lever to bring the bottle up into the plug. You wanna make sure that you fully push this down until it clicks behind the catch, and then it's secured in place. To remove it from the bike is really easy as well. You wanna use your thumb to remove the lever from underneath the catch. Support the bottle so it doesn't fall out, pull the lever upwards and let the weight of the bottle come down with the rear section and then you can pivot the bottle out of its place and take it off the bike. To use your Cytronics assistance, there are three things you need to know about the boost button. A quick momentary press will turn it on or off. If there's a colour showing, that means you're getting assistance and if there's no colour showing, that means you're riding the bike normally. To toggle through your power mode, you do a short hold on the button for about a second and that will allow you to toggle through the modes. It's important that you release the button as soon as you see the colour change. If you've opted for Cytronics lights to be installed on the bike, they can be turned on quite easily. You do a two second hold on the button and then release and the lights will be turned on and you can repeat that process to switch them off as well. A Cytronics C1 system only has one sensor and this is really easy to set up. Essentially, the sensor needs to be about one to three millimetres away from the sprocket teeth and pointing directly to the rear axle. If you want to check the exact orientation of the sensor and make sure it's in the right spot, refer to the instructions in your manual about pedal setup mode. If you need to remove the rear wheel, it's best to tuck the sensor out of the way, and you can do this by supporting the silver bracket and then gently tucking the head underneath. It is spring-loaded, so once the wheel's back in place, you can gently push from underneath and it will go back into the same position it was in before. When installing the wheel into your bike, it's really important that the square tab on the torque washers is facing downwards in the fork dropout. You can then tighten up the 17mm wheel nuts to 35 newton meters. To connect the motor to the rest of the system, there is an arrow on the male end that needs to match an arrow on the female end. You need to fully push these together before the system will work correctly. Removing the wheel is really simple. First you need to disconnect that connector. Then you can slacken off the wheel nuts. Move the torque washers out slightly and then the wheel will just drop out like normal. We sell two chargers for our Cytronics kit, a standard charger and a fast one. If you've got a standard charger, your bottle will fully charge in two and a half hours and a fast one in only an hour and a half. They both work the same way and that is when it's connected up to the mains with no bottle on the charge shoe, the LED on the charge block will be green. When you first connect your bottle, that LED will turn to red and the bottle LED will reflect downwards, indicating its current charge level. This will change in real time as the bottle gains charge, and you'll know it's full when the charger LED turns back to green. If you leave the bottle on the charger for a while, you might see that the LED actually turns off, but the charger LED is still green. This indicates that it's fully charged and you should remove it as soon as possible. Our Cytronics app is available on both Windows platforms and also in the Mac App Store. This makes it really easy to adjust your power levels, send us diagnostic reports, and also update the bottle software. If you need any more information about anything that's been spoken about today, please refer to your manual.